did you really cut up your wife? Yes, I cut up her corpse into small pieces and put them in a giant saucepan. Cookie. Yeah? How's your cucumber? Oh, it's good. Cookie. Mm -hmm. How you digging Agatha's, what was, this game is uh, Agatha Knife? How you digging Agatha oh Knife so I far? didn't know when I, when I read Agatha Knife. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, so what is this about? So I only thought that, uh, I mean, my only thought was, is that there was some sort of uh, knife that is missing. And Agatha is on a journey to find the knife. But I didn't know it's gonna be this exciting, and I didn't know that it's gonna be this <laughs> this crazy. That's a good review. You're digging the game so far. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm digging the game too. I'm digging the game too. Oh, I don't have my glasses again. Uh, where are they? I'll retrieve them for you. Uh, I think I just put them in here. All right, you pick up the controller, and while I go grab your glasses. You start playing and reading to our audience. Uh, okay, but I cannot read. Yeah, I cannot read without my glasses. Even with my glasses, uh, I, I, I sometimes find myself that I'm missing words or misreading words. I need, I need, yeah, I, need I need a new ones. It's all clear now? I mean, yeah. Let's start. Let's start. I mean, I need to do my job. But it makes, it makes me really sad. That's my problem. Can we go back? Because I want to go back to the... Um, press this button. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, it doesn't do anything right now. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe we can go back when you're not in the middle of a dialogue. Let's see. We'll, uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and another thing. We've not, uh, we have not had money, uh, many customers in the shop, in the shop. And my mom says that if things don't get better, we will have to close it. If that happens, I won't have, <laughs> I won't have the animals or the meat. Anyway, after what you said, maybe, you can help me create a religion like the cheese one. So that we get lots of customers in the butchers and the animals are not afraid of me. Hmm. It's an interesting case, that's for sure. Oh. Uh, yes. Yes, I think we can solve your problems. Really? We are going to need a religion that's slightly more complex than usual. But that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to assign my best mentor to your case. The one that specializes in strange and difficult cases like yours. You should know. I don't have much money. I don't think I can pay for, you, uh, for your best mentor. Don't worry. We'll make an exception for you. We'll use it as an opportunity to demonstrate that we can provide a solution to strange situations like yours. I'm going to sign up for the course. We've done enough talking, okay. He said that, he said that with my own religion, I could make my animals happy. I'm not sure if he's religious. We, we tried this, right? Yeah, we did that one already. He said he's not religious. So he said, we didn't do this, did we? We did not, no. This is a new, this is a new uh, choice. Okay. Would my animal really stop being scared if I invent my own religion? Absolutely. If you join us on the course, you'll solve all of your problems. We'll make it so that your animals are willing to die for you. 
without fear and with unconditional faith in the religion that we create. You'll be able to enjoy eating meat without renouncing the company and happiness of your animals. I'm going to sign up. Convincing my, uh, uh, convincing my animals will be a challenge, but I've got nothing to lose, so let's do this. I want to create my own religion. I want to join the course. Great. You won't regret it, I promise. Let's fill in this form with your details. Tell me your full name. Agatha Naive. Oh, you have choices, you have choices. Amanda Knife. Uh, Antonia Nain. Agatha Knife. So I'm confused, is this actually a choice or are we, cho are we choosing to lie? Agatha, Agatha what? Na that, that word's naive. Okay, you know what? Should we lie or tell the truth? I, I don't know what, I don't understand the nature of this choice. This is kind of odd. No, they won't. Okay, maybe because she's gonna become a... Uh... Maybe it's to give like a false name or maybe this is just like a name selection screen. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Turn your name. I guess a knife. I guess a knife makes sounds to me. Yeah, that's the title of the game. Yeah, let's just tell the truth and I will see what that does. Go ahead. I get the knife. Knife? As in knife and fork? Yes. Well, it suits you. Where do you live? Uh, at the butcher's. Or at my house. Let's start this. At my house, I guess. Okay, but I need you to tell me the address. I don't know it. Although, now I think of it, we are, uh, we are, where I really live is at the butcher's. It's called Butcher's Knife. It's the only butcher's in town. I'm always there. When I'm not at school, of course. What's up? Is there a problem? Are you sure you don't want to report your mother to the authorities? <laughs> no, I already told you. I'm cool with it. Okay, as you wish. Now I need you to tell me your age. Um, why are we lying? I don't understand these choices. I mean, we already know this. I, like, why? What's? Why is it giving me the option to lie? I'm seven years old. Any illness or allergies? Insomnia. Insomnia. Wait. Uh, I think. I think maybe the game's testing us to see if we've been paying attention. So I think we're doing. We're on the right track. So go back to insomnia. I suffer from insomnia, but I'm not sure if that's an illness. Hmm, okay, I'll write it down just in case. Do you drink, smoke, or take drugs? <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm addicted to me. Let's try this. I'm addicted to me, but I'm not sure if that counts as drug. No, I don't think that counts. Why do you need to know that? Don't worry, that information isn't necessary for the course. It's for legal reasons. It's ridiculous, I know. Anyway, no drugs, that's good. Nearly finished, just one more thing. Telephone number. I don't have a phone, but I can give you the number of the butchers. No, that's no use. What about an email? No. Hmm. Okay, we'll get in touch with you by special means. I'll leave a note for the mentor so he knows. Well, that's it. All done. Take this form and give it to your mentor. 
He's in the confessional at the moment. Confessional? It's a little wooden hut in the hallway over there. Go and talk to him and he'll let you know what you need to do next. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, let's go over, uh, let's go over what our religion is. This, oh my god, this is just gonna be a repeat. Go ahead and read it. Tell me again what our, our religion or, is. Yeah, well, just, just X, 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 X. We already read all this shit. I've had enough of talking. Yeah. That, um, that will do for now. Okay, I hope you enjoy the course. I'm sure you'll be able to create a fantastic religion that will solve the problems you're having with the animals and the butchers. You'll see how much fun creating a religion can be. Hello? Anyone there? my name down for the course on creating religions. The man over there told me to talk to you. Have you got the registration form? No. Well, go and get it and leave it in the tray. You forgot to grab the form off the table. Mini house is a guy that will help us create our own religion. Mashi. Try talking to him again. Maybe maybe she drops in the tray with the talking. Okay. Hey. What? What do I need to do? You need a registration form to sign up for the course. Leave it in the tray. Oh, you know what? Okay, let's. Okay, now let's get in. Okay, there, oh, hold on. All right. Press this button. Mm. Uh, so, okay, so run, walk. Oh, cool, you can run. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, bag. Yeah, triangle is bag. Okay, but hold on a second. There's another thing. You, uh, you were asking about uh, interactions. Oh. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, yeah, just go into your bag. This is, this my, is my bag. Mashi. Wallah. Okay. So go select the note. I'm trying. There are a couple of things which I always carry with me. Like my keys and a USB memory stick. If we get uh, overwhelmed, I need a rest can go back to the main menu using the key. Oh, okay. Okay. If you want to save our progress, cool. use the sub-memory stick. The, the USB. Oh. Uh, I'm a little bit drunk, I feel. Although, whenever we, uh, we enter a, a new place, our progress will be saved automa automatically. I also have a big bucket where I'll store everything we pick up along the way. Ah, before I forget. Really? If you want, I can talk to you like this instead. You can choose whichever option you like best. After all, everyone has their own taste. There are even people that like eating uh, fish. Although they're probably not quite right in the head. Anyway, you have a couple of options to choose from. People who eat fish. 
Yeah, actually, this was the default. I uh, I changed it uh, when I was playing around with the game earlier because I know you don't like cursive. This one. Or this one. Press X. Which one? X. Okay. Okay. We'll continue like this. Unless you want cursive. No, thank you. Don't worry. If you want to change later, just go to the main menu and check the option. That word. Anyway, let's do our stuff. All right, hopefully we're done with tutorial shit. So go up and select the note. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's weird. Why did they put the note here? On your head? Put the, uh, tr try dragging it over to the... Dragging it, how? Or maybe just click on the box. Right now. Oh, I bought it there. Okay, cool. I bought the form in the uh, in the tray. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. So, Agatha, a young butcher with insomnia. You want to create a religion that will help bring customers back to your store and make your animals happy while you cut them up with your knife. <laughs> and they bleed to death, is that correct? <laughs> Pretty much. Hmm, an interesting case and a challenge, that's for sure. I like it. Okay, let me have a think about it. And I'll put together a list of the things we'll need to do to create a religion which fits your needs. I'm not sure how long the planning process will take, so, so there's no... Oh, sorry. You can go home. As soon as I've got everything ready, I'll contact you. Ah, one thing that's really important. For the moment, don't tell anyone about what we are planning here. If someone got w gets wind of all this, they won't believe in your religion, and then the plan won't be of any use. So don't say anything to anyone until I tell you, okay? Okay, but is that it? I need to do anything else? Not at the moment. We'll talk when I've thought through all the steps we need to take. Okay, until then. Bye. I hope this works out. Anyway, let's go home. I think you have to click on the door. Running. Oh, cool. Hey, uh, here's the thing. Oh, hold on. Here's an idea. Is there anything? Go, go to the right. Run to the right. It's kind of a cool animation. Keep running. Keep running. We never talked to these guys or the uh, the pig on the on the ground there. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Living la vida loco here in the cemetery. What does it look like? The boy insisted on coming here to talk to that lump of stone. I've already told him that it's just a stone and that his mom isn't here. But it's like talking to a brick wall. I'm going to ask him about the boy. Ask see what the other choices are. Or not. What happened to your son? He's an idiot. I've had to move him from school to school like 108 times already. Because he has problems fitting in. Anyway, you just need to talk, t take one look at him. He's a disaster. Okay. Uh, he said that his wife isn't buried here? Um, why are his hands uh, clasped? Clasped together clasped like that. Clasped together like that. Let's do something else, okay. All right, so, all right, let's try this, because I want him to talk about religion. Has something happened to your hands? No. I hold them like this because it gives me an air of sophistication. <laughs> <laughs> it makes some difficult things, though, like, it makes some things difficult, difficult, though, like eating and wiping my ass. 
but I manage all right. Let's do something else or... Uh, oh. Okay. Before you called it was a gravestone, a love stone. And you said that she's not in the, in the ground here. That's because it's true, she's not here. Where is she then? Her soul has moved on to the other world. But I think you're talking about her body, so I'm going to explain. When my wife died, my stupid son just wouldn't stop crying. He spent every day shouting for his mom to come back to him. Even if for just one day, so he could save inside one last memory. Eventually I got so fed up with all the whimpering that instead of burying my wife, I got her corpse, bought a good ax, and dismembered it. Oh my God. Mom. Quiet, stupid. Seriously? Did you really cut up your wife? Yes, I cut up her corpse into small pieces and put them in a giant saucepan. Oh my god. Didn't he want to have one last memory of his mom to keep inside? Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Did he feed the kid his mom? That's what it sounds like. But what did he do? Made a fantastic soup. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Mom, is that you? You made a broth with your wife's corpse. That's right. It came out delicious. And an amazing fluorescent orange. On one hand, that surprises me. But on the other, it makes sense. Um... <laughs> the boy looks tra oh, traumatized. What he did with his wife is pretty strange. Why are his hands... Okay, we did this. Uh, let's try. The boy looks traumatized. Sure. I do think your son liked that cannibal soup idea. And that's why he's so upset. I just wanted him to stop whining, but it hasn't worked out the way I'd hoped. He's still an idiot and at night all he does is cry, just like before. You have no idea what it's like to live with this piece of human waste. What he did with his wife is pretty strange, okay. Hey, cutting, cutting up your wife's corpse and making a soup with it is an odd thing to do. I'm a butcher and I do similar things with animals. But I don't know uh, but I don't know you could do the same thing with people. Oh my god. Is she gonna be a cannibal now? Inshallah. Are you comparing my wife to a dirty pig? Hey, don't say that. I love my animals. And I love my wife. And the fact that I made a soup with her remains is neither here nor there. When someone dies, their soul leaves this world. And the only thing left is a lifeless corpse. Oh, really? Of course. Haven't they taught you that in school? Maybe they did. But I find it hard to uh, concentrate in class. I've got insomnia. So, I'm always tired. Yeah, okay. I don't need your life story. Um... You heard me. I love my wife very much. I love her? How come you say it like she's still here? Because she still exists. I just explained it to you. My wife's soul is in a better place. The place where we all go when we die. And when I die of old age or, or at this rate, when I end it all for having to put up with this idiot, I'll be reunited with my wife in that new world. And we'll live there happily together, forever. 
And how is that possible? Well, having read lots of books, I've come to that conclusion. Um, well, I'm not sure. There's nothing to be unsure about. That's just how it is. End of story. Okay. Well, okay, we have done this. The boy. I want him to tell me about... No, 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 no. that's no. just a repeat. Okay. Okay, no. so how can I get out of here? Go to the right. Yeah, I'm going. Let's do something else. Let's do something else. Well, take it easy. Yes, wouldn't want this party to end, would we? Alright. Check out the, 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 the doll or the corpse there, whatever the hell that is. Someone open up that pink bunny. I prefer to cut open real and uh, real bunnies. Okay. okay. Uh, see if you can grab that orange thing there. What's that? What's that? Well, it doesn't let me do anything with it. No. Okay. All right, let's head back to the church. Or if you want to do something else, you can. Obviously, it's your choice. But. No, I want to go back. I think I think we're ready to move on in the story. My mother. Okay. I don't remember. I, I don't remember what we're doing here. Hey, mom. Remind me why we came here. Well, the butchers isn't doing very well. So I thought we could come to church and pray and see if it helps. Will you uh, uh, pray? What's that? You'd like to keep working at the butchers, right? Yes, yes. of course. Oh, yes. sorry, sorry. Yes, of course. Well, think about that really hard. And maybe we'll help bring our customers back. I wonder if my mom believes she's, uh, believe, uh, the story about the cheese and Time Lord. I don't remember. We already did that one. Okay. This is a good question. All right. Are you listening to that ser sermon? No, not really. I'm just praying that the butchers picks up. I don't even know who, who the guy doing the shouting is. Let's go back to the butchers. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to cheer her up. I'm going to take another look around. Actually, I want to go to the butcher. Let's go back to the butchers. I'm bored. I want to go home. Yes, me too. I'm tired of praying. Anyway, let's go. Looks like another day without any customers. I hope going to church was useful and things pick up. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm sure things will get better soon. Hmm, whatever you say, Agatha. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's time to prepare our last pig. Can you deal with it? We probably won't sell any of the meat. But at least we'll have something else on the counter should anyone come in. Okay, I'll deal with it. Thanks. There's a big waiting for me in the back room. When I've carved him up, we can leave. Okay, so it's forcing you to go right. Yeah. That's the entrance. This is in the back, in the back room. Uh, it fixed your performance there. She looks a little bit shocked. What's going on? OK. 
cannot see that. Hello. Hello, Agatha. Welcome. Have we met before? How do you know my name? I know because I am... Sandro, the awesome master of divina divinations. To my friends, awesome Sandro. Okay. Never heard of you. I'm your mentor. <laughs> I'm going to help you create your own religion. Ah, so that was you in the little wooden house. Yes. Wow, that was quick. I thought it would take longer for us to meet. Anyway, how did I get here? Where are we? This is my control center where I give in-depth personalized advice. This is where I receive and orient orientate all of my students. Given that you don't have a telephone number or an email, they told me to get in touch with you using special means. So I teleported you here. You teleported me here? And how did you do that? Are you a magical too? A magician. A magician too? I already told you. I'm... Sandro the Awesome, Master of Divinations. Yeah, I got it, but what does that mean? Are you a magician or not? Pretty much. In addition to being an expert in teleportation, I can tell the future. My specialties are tarot, tarotination, burpination, slamming shot a nation, slam, no, and all the other divinations you could ever think of. I am the master of all divinations because I am. Awesome. awesome Sa oh, sorry. Awesome, Sandora. It's Sandro. Yeah, I've got it. But what are these divinations? They're metaphysical techniques or magical arts that are used to see the future. Oh. And what has that got to do with the religion? A great deal, because just like religion, magic is based on faith. In the end, all that matters is that people believe in it. But don't you worry, you just need to trust me. Let's get to work on carnivorism. That's what you're here for, for after all. Carnivorism? Yes, carnivorism. That will be the name of your religion. Given that you like to eat meat, you're a butcher. And that your problems are related to those things. I thought that carnivorism would be the ideal name for your religion. What do you think? Sounds good. Uh, what, do, uh, what does carnivorism involve? Well, all religions are based on a perfect lie which is able to transform fear into faith. You will develop each of the necessary components to create that perfect lie. Me? But you're going to help me, aren't you? Yes, of course. I will give you guidance whenever you need it. That's why I have my fabulous deck of cards. What do you need? Uh, uh, why, uh, what do you need the deck of cards for? I know, I ask a lot of questions. But it's, but it's because there are lots of things about religion and faith that I don't understand yet. Don't worry. As we progress through the course, you'll become an expert. Returning to the subject at hand, when you don't know what to do to obtain the component you're searching for, let me know and we'll see what the cards say. The cards will show us something that will help us move forward. For example, the first thing carnivorism needs is a god. And before you ask, a god is a superior, imaginary, and powerful being. A god is the one in charge of a religion, so we need one. 
Once we have a God, the followers of carnivorism will do what he says. Although in reality, it will be what you say, but we can worry about that later. Damn, this game is something else. Uh, okay. And what can I find? Uh, a God. It's for precisely that reason that we have the cards. They'll show us the way. God is away on business. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Can we stop here? After this animation, yeah, let's... Uh... After this uh, series of events, yeah, we'll, we'll take a break. Or we'll call it a night. Okay, we've got the dagger, the blood, and the drunk. And what does that mean? It means that it will be necessary to find the blood of an animal. Oh, I don't think that will be that will be difficult. Excellent. Take this bottle. Fill it with animal blood and bring it back to me. With the blood, we'll be able to create the god of carnivorism. Won't well, we need anything else? With just the blood? will be able to create a god? You just worry about bringing me the bottle full of blood. You'll see. Okay, but can you send me back to the butchers? Sure, if you leave through the door, you'll go there directly. I'll take care of bringing you back once you've got the animal blood. Okay, see you soon then, I guess. See you soon. All right, so go ahead and press that button. Or, no, 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 press the triangle button. Because remember, this is where we save. So I go down to the little pig, USB, go ahead and save our game. Yeah, we know about that, yeah. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh... Okay. What the fuck? Go back. That's how we're supposed to save. I'm trying. That's weird. We'll click it again. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, you have to hit square because X is to look at it. This is weird. Yes, we want to save the game. Done. Done. All right. That was a fun episode. Yeah, I'll have to get out of here. Uh, don't worry about it. Or just hit the menu button and we'll close out. Anyway, we're calling that an episode. Good night. Good night.